What is up, Gamer Army? Welcome to Psycho Gamer. I am your host, Aubrey, and today we are going to do an in-depth look at a game that just kind of got released under the radar. Hmm, what are we going to be talking about today? Is it another Pac-Man game? Yes, it's another Pac-Man game. But this one's been released on many other machines. But you're going to see what we're going to talk about here in just a couple minutes. So make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications. And we're going to go over that right after this. All right, welcome back, guys. Like I said, we are going to do an in-depth look at a new Pac-Man arcade machine from Arcade One Up. Yes, my go-to company when it comes to these particular arcade machines. Why? Because they really look like the original machines. Now, like I've mentioned in previous videos, they are milking the crap out of Pac-Man. Many people are probably getting a bit tired of Pac-Man. However, there were so many different machines released back in the 80s of Pac-Man, whether it's Pac-Mania, Pac-Man, Pac-Man Plus, Pac-Man Jr. You know, there's so many different Pac-Man games that were on the market that it really doesn't surprise me that they're trying to give each of these games their own release. But with the way they have their licensing set up, they are releasing it with multiple other games, whether it's all of the other Pac-Man games or just a multitude of Pac-Man games. But we're going to take a look at the game itself and also look at the case and controls. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to my computer. Boom, shakalaka. All right, so this particular machine is exclusive to the Home Shopping Network. This is Pac-Man Plus. Now we know Pac-Man Plus has been on a variety of different games from Arcade 1-Up, dating back to just the regular Pac-Man that was Pac-Man and Pac-Man Plus, just the two games on one machine. So now looking at some of the machines now, they are putting so many games on there. This one has eight games on it. That's a far cry from the two that these originally came out with. Now, this is your typical Arcade 1-Up machine especially when it comes to the actual style. So when we start looking at it, we can see the look of this one in many, many, many other arcade one-up machines. So if we look over here, just for example, at X-Men vs. Street Fighter Arcade, you notice it is essentially the exact same shell or the same cabinet as any of these other arcade one-up machines. Even looking at like the Teenage Mutant, Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and any of the other ones, it is going to be the same body style other than the control deck is going to be just different for multiplayers. Now, obviously this is going to have your eight games, which just so you can look down here, I guess I did have to actually make the screen bigger because it zooms in, but it doesn't zoom in and blow the picture up. So I apologize for this. Uh, obviously, Pac-Man's on here, Super Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Pac-Mania, Pac-Man Plus, pac and pal Pac-Land, and Galaga. All of these games have been released on different machines and have even had their own standalone machines with a mixture of many of these other games. So we go back up here to look at it again. This is the actual control deck itself. So they have their typical on-off button, volume control, your four play or four directional joystick right here. Player one, player two, or one and two players. You have your extra buttons over here as well. If you look at the regular Pac-Man arcade game and look at its control deck, it's not the same. Now obviously this only has two games on it. It doesn't have games like, say, Dig Dug, where you can actually use this to use your pump in the actual game itself, or you know anything having to do with shooting like your Galaga. Obviously, you have one button, so you're not going to have the issue on this one that many people had on the Super Pac-Man machine, where 
there's a button here and a button here and then they had this one programmed correctly but this one didn't program correctly and it was a big headache and if you haven't checked my video out for fixing the Super Pac-Man issue if they've started repairing it again then check out the link above go take a look at it and see if that's going to actually help you out uh, there's the front side of the actual machine itself showing all eight of those games got your riser there with your typical ghost and pac-man you got your side profile over here as well so the art's looking pretty good I kinda like the the actual riser with the power pellets and the regular pellets in there as well so obviously the other side is going to look exactly the same as this just kind of reversed obviously but it is looking like it's going to be pretty good obviously it's going to have the pac-man machine the deck protector the riser the power cord manual hardware and a 90-day warranty Ooh, ah experience classic games without the need for any quarters classic arcade joystick and button configuration original artwork and classic upright design will take you back to the 80s in a light up front panel and marquee add style and authenticity so you are going to have things lighting up that some of the original ones such as this machine right here did not have because it was one of the earlier machines that was released by Arcade 1UP. Uh, it's got your riser, a 17-inch LCD screen with built-in speakers, which hopefully they are going to be better than the previous ones if you look straight at it. They're probably going to be hidden up here, so they may not be like super high quality ones because I'm not seeing them down at the bottom here, which I think I kind of like that design when they had those speakers down here because it did give you a more immersive and better sound. So I guess we'll have to see when they come out. I know some of them are kind of hiding up here. So $499.99, you could actually add it right now and get it shipped. So pretty nice that it came out just as quickly as it did. But that's going to do it for today, guys. What do you guys think about the new Pac-Man machine? I mean, it's interesting that Pac-Man Plus was leaked out. Really, it's just a revamped Pac-Man machine is really all it is. But again, I appreciate you guys coming in, checking my video out. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe if you haven't yet, guys. Until the next time, guys, game on.